this is Lady Boulay, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope your new year has gotten off to a very good start. Mine has so far. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your thumbs up, for your comments, and thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for all you do to support the channel. Well, for the last few days, African Americans have just been in a tizzy over this Akon person. In an interview in London, he decided to center African Americans as a part of his discussion. I believe the interviewer was Jamaican or somebody from the Caribbean. And somehow, magically, African Americans are a part of their conversation. This is an African man and a woman from the Caribbean or somewhere. But they're talking about African Americans in London. So that's always confusing to me. I have noticed this quite a bit, that Africans are always doing some African versus African Americans. What Africans think about African Americans is always something that they drag African Americans into. And this is something that African Americans don't talk about. It may be among ourselves, but we don't compare ourselves to Africans. And I think that this is something that needs to be kind of pointed out. We don't compare ourselves to Africans. In that interview, Akon said something about African entertainers having more stage presence. First of all, stage presence is something that was crafted in the United States. I seriously doubt that the average African even knows what it means. That is an American expression. He got that from Americans. And everything that he actually knows about music, he copied from here in America. So that's one thing. African Americans don't center their discussions or conversations about Africans. African American entertainers do not talk about Africans or anybody else for that matter in their interviews. Who they will talk about is other African Americans, but they're not going to talk about anybody else. And I believe the reason that they don't talk about other people is because other people don't factor into what they're doing. Africans do not impact what they're doing. Every music form that has been created by African Americans was done from the ground up. Blood, sweat, and tears, hard work, being exploited, all of that. And Africans weren't anywhere on the scene when all of this happened. When an African American music became a worldwide phenomenon, Africans didn't have anything to do with it. And that is how come nobody's even thinking about any Africans. What Akon could have done, which would have, which would have shown that he has had some degree of class, which he clearly does not, he could have said whatever he wanted to say about African musicians and the progress they're making and how great they are on stage. He could have done that without saying anything about African Americans. The fact that they are, see, they don't even realize that they have African Americans on their minds too much. Let me just say this, because that might, be, and I know there are African Americans who try to identify with Africans, but I think most African Americans don't. And the first thing I want to say is, we identify as African Americans because we made the we made that term popular, African Americans, and it's because we honor our ancestors who came from the continent of Africa. But an African American is an American. The African part of that is a proper adjective describing the American. So we are Americans and we don't compare ourselves to Africans. And that doesn't mean that we don't respect Africans and some African Americans probably care about Africans. And I think we would all like to see the continent of Africa improve and progress and be all that it can be with all of its wealthy natural resources. But we are Americans and we have to live with that reality, good and bad. And there's another thing that I think we need to get clear. African Americans do not feel diminished in any way because we don't have a tribe. Because we do have a tribe in our own way. We don't feel that Africans are superior to us just because they're in a tribe or they have a language. Because the language that they have is just a tribal language. It's, it's not even regional in some cases. It's tribal. And your language 
for all of your pride about your country, your language in most cases is not even your national language. The national language of just about every African country is a European language. Swahili, I believe, is the national language of Kenya and Tanzania. There are a few other countries that have their own language from their tribes or from their own language group. But most of those African countries have European languages as their official language. And as far as their tribe is concerned, they have all this tribalism. And if you, can, if you were to listen to Nigerians in particular on these social media platforms, they have all kinds of atrocities going on against each other in Nigeria based on tribal affiliation. And most of the immigrants and the refugees to the United States from Africa are here because you cannot get along with the people in your country. So we don't feel that we missed anything. We are proud of our ancestors and the fact that they were able to survive and sustain themselves and build an enduring culture. And we call it culture. Now Africans can call it anything they want to. But this is what we have and this is what we care about. And this is what we have to start gatekeeping because everybody else will come over here and jump on our square trying to steal from what we're doing and yeah, how you don't have a culture. Yeah, we do. We do have a culture. We just don't gatekeep it well enough. And this is this ought to be a wake up call for African Americans. You cannot trust everybody and you cannot let everybody into your home and welcome you because they are not grateful and in the end they'll turn around and dump on you. So this ought to be a good lesson for African Americans. And on the backhanded side of Africans always saying that somebody in their country or their culture think they're better than African Americans, I just want you to think on this. There is a large segment of the African American population that feels superior to Africans in the same way that they say they feel superior they don't have anything on African Americans because many African Americans have a very superior attitude and they do not identify with Africans and they certainly do not compare themselves to Africans. We compare ourselves to white people and the reason we do that is because those are the people that we've been with for the last four or five hundred years. We don't know anybody. Most of us can't trace any relative back to Africa. So we don't identify with Africans. We compare ourselves to white Americans. When we talk about the racial wealth gap, we're talking about black Americans versus white Americans. When we talk about disparities in education, we're talking about black Americans versus white Americans. When we talk about disparities in the healthcare system, we talk, we're talking about black Americans versus white Americans. When we talk about the mass incarceration system, we're talking about black Americans versus white Americans. When we talk about the wage gap, when we talk about housing discrimination, it does not matter what we're talking about. We are comparing black Americans to white Americans. We are never comparing ourselves to Africans. Every time we compare ourselves, we are comparing ourselves to white people because those are the people that are relevant to who we are. And I'm not going to say that African Americans are offended by Africans continuing to compare themselves to us, but I'm saying African Americans don't see the connection. Because Africans who come to the United States, come to the United States doing what African Americans are already doing. They're not doing anything innovative for all of the bragging that they do. They're not doing anything that we haven't already done. The wealthiest black people in the United States of America are African Americans. And getting back to Akon, I'm about to call BS on him. One of the signs of people with inferiority complexes is that they are always finding fault with other people. They are always trying to put themselves up over somebody else. That's a sign of not only inferiority complex, but also a sign of jealousy. He has taken his whole look, everything he has copied after African Americans. We are often imitated, but never duplicated. So he's definitely not an African American, even though he, they keep saying he was born and raised in the United States. That does not make him an African American, and it certainly does not make him a part of our lineage. 
So he is not that. He is whatever his parents were when they got off the plane coming to the United States. The only thing that African Americans have ever wanted from Africans is fellowship. We have only wanted fellowship. But they have taken this whole idea about we have our own language and we have our own tribe and all that and tried to make something big out of it when it's really not anything big. I don't care about their tribe. I am very proud of my ancestry. I am very proud of the people that I come from. And because of what they did here in the United States, they made a place for us. They gave us agency. They gave us skin in the game. So we don't have to run all over the world looking for a decent place to live. Some African Americans choose to live abroad, but that's their choice. And they can come back when they get ready. And they don't have to cross hell on a spider's web to get here. We don't want to get into a lot of name calling and a lot of negative energy and trying to be mean, but we do need to set down some guidelines. We need to we need to draw you have to draw the line with people somewhere. And it is time for black Americans to draw the line. We do not compare ourselves to Africans. We are not Africans, we are African descended. But we are not Africans and we don't compare ourselves to Africans and it would be nice if they would stop comparing themselves to us because at the end of the day it's not going to make any difference. It's not going to change their situation and it's not going to change ours. African American culture is America's number one export. We have earned the place that we have on the world stage and somebody talking, running his mouth, talk is very cheap. But that is not going to change the fact that we have the place that we have on the world stage. And if they want that place, they're going to have to earn it. You can't talk your way up. You have to build your way up the way we did. And if you can do that, then do it. And here's the last thing I want to say. We compare ourselves to white people. The people who had our ancestors enslaved. Why don't Africans compare themselves to their colonizers? Why are they comparing themselves to us? They, they don't compare themselves to the countries that are next to them, their bordering countries. They don't compare themselves to the tribal people that live in the country. They come all the way across the ocean to compare themselves to African Americans. Why is that? Why have you set African Americans as a standard for you to compare yourself to? Why don't you compare yourself to your colonizers? Because they have more relevance to you. They're making decisions about your lives. African Americans don't make any decisions about anything to do with Africans. And Africans don't make any decisions about anything to do with African Americans. We are like two completely different groups of people with very little in common. And so whatever African Americans are doing, we either compare ourselves to each other or we compare ourselves to our countrymen who are white Americans. Now I am well aware that black people, African people all over the world have a common destiny and a common enemy. But we have to recognize that. When you are a black person, an African person, and you decide that you're going to be my enemy, or you decide I'm your enemy, then you're no better than the real enemy. We're comparing ourselves to the people in the country who are actually impacting our lives. And I, it seems to me that it would make the most sense for them to be comparing themselves. For instance, in Senegal, it seems like you will be comparing yourselves to the French, not African Americans. We do not compare ourselves to Africans, and it would be nice if Africans would stop comparing themselves to us, because when they do it, they don't do it in a positive way, they do it in a negative way. And so that brings us to the question of why. Why do you need to put people down that you really don't even know? So in closing, I thought long and hard before I uploaded this video. Because I know that in some places, what I'm saying might be a little cringeworthy. But we have to demand our respect like everybody else. We are African descended people. We are not trying to take anything from Africans. And we don't go on the world stage trying to demean and degrade Africans. 
the reason that we don't do that is because there is a collective respect for Africans. Now, individual African Americans can be just as dumb and just as insensitive as anybody else. But as a collective, we do not endorse African Americans going on the world stage trying to embarrass, demean, or degrade Africans because we do have that much respect for them. And we have to demand respect for ourselves. If you don't like African Americans, you don't want to deal with African Americans, that's fine. But the smart thing to do is to keep your mouth shut because the same thing that you're saying against us can come back on you. So I'm saying with my full chest that you have to respect us if you want us to respect you. So I thought about this video and I, I, but I decided I'm going to upload it anyway because as an African American woman who respects Africans and everybody else, we demand respect too. Okay, thank you for listening. Let me know what you think about this video. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Share the video. And as always, have a great day.